Hello everyone. So today I am going to show you the configuration or the code for the Apex like how we can send a per day email notification for the available contact. Let me uh, let me just explain you that what we are going to achieve that if we have a if we have a bunch of records for the contact and we want to send an email to all the contacts those who have a birthday today so let's start with the apex class so this is a scenario okay so we have to send an email to those who is having a birthday on the particular day using a batch class so today we will be implementing a batch class but this scenario can be achieved with the help of flows but here we will be writing the batch class ok so let's start apex class name so let, let's give a name appropriate name here so i can give it a like birth day email and just press on ok so here is a template which it has provided so uh, we first we have to make it global so that everyone can use okay then class next i am putting the implements okay basically this lines declare the class name which is marked as a global which will be allowed to be accessible from the other class or the trigger so it implements the batchable interface which means that it can run as a batch job okay and it is taking as an s object and next we are going to do the database dot allow callouts interface which indicates that it can make a call out to external services so here we have to make a call out so database dot allow call out next so next what we will be doing is that uh, here we will be implementing the method so generally batch have three method like start execute and finish so here i am writing global database locator okay start i am so here is the start which you have to do and the start date okay this method is a part of the database batchable interface and returns a database dot query locator object which provides a way to fetch records from the database in batch in this case this method query for the contact record that have a null non null birthday and return a query locator for those record so i am writing the query strong a string so well select id comma birthday from the contact see uh, here i will be doing silly silly mistake so that it will be easier to track what error i am making and how i am overcoming those error so this is a point that you have to note okay so here i am fetching the record the id and the birthday from contact where the birthday is not null so so those records i am fetching so here i can see with the in the contact whether we have such fields or not like the birth date okay so let me search it here yeah i am getting the field here next once we have queried this now this is going to be written somewhere uh, please uh, this error basically is coming um, because this method has two remaining two other methods so here it is going to return to the query locator for those records okay so here we are going to store it like the for the query locator so here we will be simply simply write the soql soql means this is going to give the record here 
so uh, let me write the comment to make you more understand what exactly i am trying to do in this start method so i am querying for the contacts records okay for the contacts records that have what have a birth day okay that is having those record where the birthday field is filled now next i am moving to the next method that is called execute okay and so basically make you i i want to make you sure that you understand each and every line so global that can be access void execute okay so this method is also a part of the database so basically this method is also a part of database dot batchable interface and is called for each batch of the record return by the start method this method takes two parameters basically a batchable context object and the list of s record to be processed okay so here it is taking a batchable context and the s record to be processed so which comes to the scope okay now here what we are going to do is that whatever the logical part which you want to perform okay in this method we are going to do okay let me write the next method as well to finish okay whatever so finish here we won't be doing any operation whatever operation we will be doing in the execute so let me write for the finish as well okay so basically this we have to write let me write so that the error does not create any issue because it is creating lots of problem so it does not create any problem okay let me remove okay see this error is going to be removed because we have given all the necessary function like finish execute and start so this error will be gone okay now once this error goes we will start with our logic what we have to perform and so i am going to create what the list okay so this list of the this list list will be called as a list contacts to notify okay so let me create one list which is going to store okay so this is the list of contacts for those whose birthday needs to be stored okay next uh, in more detail you will understand once i start writing everything now next i will be using the date for the current date as a date object so this line basically gets the current date as a date object now what should we do we should start with a loop okay so we have to iterate through the loop so that the loop over the s objects records in the scope list that means this slide starts a loop over the s objects record in the scope list once this is done now we have to do we have to basically create the uh, contact records okay which will come as a record but we have to uh, convert it or the type cast into the contact form so so that we can get so this line line basically cast the s object record to a contact object next we have a date so this line get the birthday field value from the contact objects okay so how we will write so date birthday equals to contact dot birthday so this line will get the birth field value from the contact object now we have to check the condition what condition we have to check whether the birth is no, uh, is not null or the month and the month is today and the date is also today so this condition we have to build so the birth not equal to null and the birth 
e dot month is equal to equal to today dot month so this condition uh, we have to put it here next what condition more we have to put is that on the day basis okay so that we have to also put it here that is equals to equals to today day so this line basically check if the birth field is not null and if it matches the current day and the month okay now if the birth matches this line we are going to add the contact object to the notify uh, contacts to notify list this contacts to notify list we have created at the topmost so we are going to add it to our list the contacts where this criteria are made so we are simply going to add it so let me replace it with the birth date because it will be a birth date not birth day so we are going to add it once this activity will be done we have to little bit think like if our now what we have to do now what we have to achieve now we have to send emails now to whom we have to send the emails for this first of all we have to check whether the contact which we have fetched is not empty that means if it is not blank so this condition we have to check whether the list which we have got is not empty so let me write the comment that what i did there i collected the contacts records okay but based on what i have recorded the record have what birth day that is matches he matchings what the current month and the day right so this is what we have tried to achieve it in this method now outside the loop we have to think like how the logic can be written is that whether the list which we have faced is not null right so how we will write see is empty basically check whether it is empty or not but we have to check it how that is if it is not equal to null that is not empty okay so i have put it not okay let's move to the next what i am going to do now here i have to basically create a new single message object okay which will be basically what the list type so here i have to create this thing so that i can use it for the further processing for the messaging let me write it okay yeah our list is ready for those which we want to send it now now this loop what it will be doing so it will loop over the contact objects okay yes in the contact notifying list and we will be creating one instance for it for the messaging type so that we can keep it with us which will be of messaging dot single email message here what we will be doing is that we will be setting the template id now what this template id will be used for so basically this template id will be used for sending the email message now 
we have to create one email template for it so i will be creating one classic email template so i will just search and go to the classic email template i'll go to the new template it will be text type next and here i will be filling up the details like template name what template name we have we want to put so i'm going to write it random take birthday birthday subject anything like if you want to wish birthday so that you can keep and here is the body which you want to put like happy birthday and if you want to like give it the name then from the merge field there you can get the first name and accordingly once you fill the contact this name is going to be display whoever uh, details is present in the contact once i am done with this i am going to uh, make it bold if you want but uh, in this case i don't want so i will simply basically leave it as it is and i will click on save once this is done i need the id no for that i have to first of all activate it because i have to use this one so i have to activate it so once the activation part is done i will keep the id because this id will be used for our email template so basically from the percentage f till percentage cd we won't take between between these the id which is present like 00 x5z so that we are going to take it so that we can use it for our set email template id because the line is going to set the id of the email template that is going to be used for sending the email now once this is done we are going to set the ids now for what ids for the contact id right for we have to so email dot target object id for the contact id now we are almost ready with the rough code of sending an email uh, now here we are getting certain error okay because of the uh, yeah for that bracket let me here we will to add it.